This crumbly and crunchy yet gooey food made from tapioca is called bijou, and it's one of the most important dishes inherited from Brazilian indigenous culinary culture. Oh, I got to the gooey part. I'm Mitha and I'm on the Upper West Side about to meet Joe Franco, a Brazilian American travel creator. She is going to take me to experience Brazilian bijou or tapioca crepes for the first time. But before we try it and before I meet Joe, here's what you need to know. Tapioca is a popular food and snack in Brazil. It is made from tapioca flour extracted from the root of the cassava plant. Because of its neutral taste, it can be paired with sweet or savory fillings. The gluten-free, sugar-free, vegan, organic starch food is a staple of indigenous cooking from the northeast region of Brazil, but has surged in popularity throughout Brazil over the last decade because of its health benefits. Tap NYC is bringing the Brazilian favorite to New York City. So after my long journey to the Upper West Side, I found Joe! Hey. Hey. Okay, wait, 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 we have to do the Brazilian thing. Two kisses. Mwah. Mwah. Okay. <laughs> Hi! Hello! I eat tapioca almost every day. Recently, when I went back to Brazil, I started seeing this food that looked like styrofoam on the side of the street. And I'm like, what is that? I actually didn't grow up eating tapioca crepes, but my great grandmother was born in the region where it originated. Every bite, I'm like thinking about my great grandma putting the farinha de mandioca on top of all her food. So I'm excited that there's a whole restaurant dedicated to this food I love so much. That sounds so beautiful. We've got sweet and savory crepes today, and we're super excited. I'm also super hungry. Can we get home? Let's do it. Right, my name is Roberto Simonson. I came from Brazil, where the tapioca is very trendy. When I moved to New York in 2014, I figured out that in New York there's you no know, places with healthy food from Brazil, serving tapioca crepes, acai bowls, and cheese bread. The whole process takes three minutes to have a tapioca crepe. When we put the flour on the fry pan, the flour starts to stick together by itself. It doesn't need to add oil, butter, or anything else. Just put the flour on a, one minute, the flour is going to be sticky. Then you can fill it and fold it. I have a big question. And I might have an answer. Is this the same tapioca that's in bubble tea tapioca? Mind-blowing information, yeah. It is! It's the same root. The way that they're different is that the, the flour is processed differently. So with tapioca that we're about to eat, it's processed uh, with water, but with the boba tea, it's processed with boiling water and it's kneaded into a dough that they put into little spheres. What's really cool is that in Brazil, we eat the aiping or mandioca, we eat that in so many different forms. Right now you're trying it as tapioca, like as the crepe, but we also eat this thing called farofa. It's a grain that you could put to just add substance. And a lot of like poor communities in Brazil used to use it just as something to fill themselves because it was cheaper and easier to get than bread. There you go, ladies. Excuse no. me. No, yes. No. That's our commercial mix. <gasps> it looks beautiful. That's your carnitas. Wow. wow. I hope you guys enjoy. Obrigada. <laughs> De nada. That's how you say thank you in Portuguese. What do you say? Obrigada. Obrigada. All right, so this looks amazing. I've never seen this texture before. You know what's funny? It doesn't look like the ones I make at home. It looks way better. <laughs> so I'm really excited about that. This texture is going to be the first time your mouth has ever tasted something like this. Really? The texture is really unique. It's like crunchy and then it's a little like gooey. Mm -hmm. And then you're going to see it doesn't have a smell or a taste. Okay. But it has a very specific like, mm. Okay, just try it. Okay, okay. Here we go. You hear that crunch? Okay. <laughs> and? This is amazing. Isn't it so good? Oh. It's unique. I got to the gooey burp. What's happening in your mouth? It's very crunchy at first, and then as soon as you get into the middle, you feel the goo, and that's where I'm like, oh, this is a cousin to the tapioca boba. It's such a cousin. It's a cousin. It's a close cousin. I gotta get in here. But it's more chewier than I expected. Mm -hmm. I, I thought because I saw like the little grains and the little like bubbles, like it's like a little tiny it's little like, grain. It's yeah. like a jelly putty. Delicious texture. Mm -hmm. Wow. wow. <laughs> okay, second experience with your tapioca crepe. Yeah. This one's gonna be sweet, and then also it's very filling, so I hope you made space for this one. So the thing about tapioca is a lot of people like it really thin, mm -hmm. so some people even do like a strainer to get the, the crunchy parts out because they like it like a thin, tiny, crisp layer. Mm -hmm. 
I actually like it thicker with more flour because it gives you that gooey, you can feel it when you bite. I'm super excited because I am just a big fan of Nutella and strawberry crepes in general. So I am really interested in seeing what this take will taste like. Let's get in it. Okay, okay ready? ready? Ah. Mmm. That tastes wonderful. Look at this. Mm. Look at this texture. It's very crispy and crunchy, more than I expected. If you like a good crunch, this is for you. But then if you like gooey, this is also for you. If you like crunchy and gooey, mm -hmm. this is your new favorite food. So thank you, Joe, so much for teaching me all about tapioca crepes. Thank you. I got to eat them, <laughs> and so did you. Did you enjoy it? I did. I enjoyed it so much, and I'm actually so shocked I didn't hear about this before. It's so, so good. I know. I can't get enough. Like, I'm just happy that now I have like another friend that I could share the tapioca love with. Honestly, I think I'm gonna get another one to go for the road. This doesn't exist in LA yet. You should. Let's I'm gonna do get it. one for the plane ride back <laughs> home. Definitely need more napkin. <laughs> and then there's no telephone first. Mm. Ha, ha, ha.